So I'm trying to broaden my horizons. I would say that I don't really know PHP that well. I try to keep up with, okay, here's the things that are strictly PHP. Here's the things that are Laravel. So I have a little bit of distinction. But when it comes to actually like writing PHP code, I don't necessarily know too much about how it works. I came across from Jamie Barton, who works at Terso, I came across a project that Jamie wrote, which is Dumbo. It's a lightweight, friendly PHP framework for HTTP inspired by Hono. And I think this is a perfect project for me to take a little bit of a look into, okay, how does PHP actually work? What are some things that I I would find interesting. So uh, think of this as Laravel developer who is learning PHP and um, you're on this journey with me, okay? Because I have a bunch of things and videos and content lined up for just me learning PHP and just learning a whole bunch of different things. Now, for example, like Hono is extremely interesting to me. I've used it on a couple of projects even before I started working in Laravel, like right when it had just launched and I love the simplicity that it brings. In fact, one of the projects that it has, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Maybe it's this, Hono examples. Okay, here it is. A Cloudflare Prisma Hono X starter. The, what got me interested in how Hono itself is trying to show it is it just looks really simple. So an app server.ts, for example, that's not it. App, we'll say, so routes, okay, yeah, we have this index.tsx. You have these uh, const do where it, it's basically like a server rendered action, but then you also have routes in the file. So what interested me about this is I've always said that I think that's what people are looking for of, I don't wanna create a whole new file right now to do an API route when I'm just working with the data that I'm being retrieved usually in that same component. It'd be nice if I could separate this if I needed to, but for now I just want it all in one file. That's why I love Livewire so much. And so I think stuff like this is intriguing to me. And I think this is what Hono brings. And so um, having this Dumbo would be a great idea to say, okay, what, what makes this valuable, but also just, it just looks really simple. So we have this app git where we can just return some JSON. We can have specific routing functions. We can return some text and some HTML or redirect. So again, Jamie wanted me to note that this is just a fun project to mess around with PHP. So it's not anything that he wants you to go ahead and just break and, and figure out, but use it to learn PHP like me. So I've already built this project. I have it running on Laravel herd. That's why I have that. So let me just go ahead and open it up. So slash Dumbo and we'll open that up in VS code right here. We have this index.php file and here I, I scaffolded it out like what, like a basic templating system could look like, but any new Dumbo is initiated, it looks like, and then in the vendor auto load, and that's where you bring in specific files. So this was interesting to me because I know this is how PHP and Composer works, but this is where it gets all the information for all of your vendor files. So in this case, Dumbo right here is what's being pulled in, and then you can have all this accessed on the page. So when we have used Dumbo, it's bringing this class in, and I have, I have PHP IntelliFence in my VS Code setting. There's a whole video set up if you are looking for that, it's in the description below, but I can just option click into specific classes. So this is the Dumbo class, the very simple PHP HTTP framework for, we have a router, we have specific methods, and then, okay, so this would be handling the router, we can run, it gets the file for when we're creating new server requests. Okay. Yeah, send the response to the client. Okay, so all of this like makes sense to me. Like I understand like how a router and how, you know, how a server works within PHP. And again, this is just all plain PHP that he has cobbled together into a simple PHP framework. And then when we're using it, we can create a new instantation instantiation of this class. I don't even know if that's the correct term for it. New, we're creating a new 
version of this class so that we can use. So we have an app and a user. The user is where we can actually get the routes. So we have slash route here, which is returning the JSON of the user data. And then slash ID. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is what I, I was trying to remember how, what I actually did in here. So I have this post request for slash. And if I was to just comment this out and maybe return this instead here, then in our browser, refresh. Okay, it's not returning. Let's see. Oh, that's the post request. That's why. I need the get request. Let's just return some text. And we can say, hi there. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I remember, yes. Okay, so the way that Dumbo is set up is you can have nested routes. So I have this user that is in the app route users. So if I was to go to slash users, then I would see that high there. So again, this is very nice if you wanted to have nested routes. I wonder how that's working, app route. Okay, yeah, so this is the function route, nested app, get routes. Yeah, so we're just taking any routes that we have in this user initiation of Dumbo. We still have the get ID, get post, we all have all of this for that user. And then we just route it into the app route right here. Very nice. And then, yeah, so we can use specific headers. So we can set messages for all of our routes, I believe. Let's take a look at the docs. Okay, so that's middleware. That's nice. So we can, anything in the app use is going to have middleware. And I believe, I'm still learning with PHP, but I believe that it's top down. So if I had an app use above, it looks like there's two app uses here. So I'm guessing it doesn't, I'm guessing this one happens first and then this one happens second. That's my understanding of what PHP would be. And then we have the ability to redirect. So yeah, I set up what a very bare bones template would look like. In this case, we have a function render template. I have this pages index.html file where I just have this, I don't know, handlebar kind of syntax. And it would probably be fairly easy to get Blade up and running within Dumbo. But what we're doing here is we're just taking that index.html file right here, and we're passing it into that render template function. So we're getting that template path, we're getting the data, and we're just going over and replacing information. In this case, we have our data and passing in the title, heading, content, and items that is just being passed into this index.html. So again, very bare bones templating system. I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at how that works. So yeah, take a look at Dumbo. It's one of the things that's helped me start this brand new journey of, okay, what does it look like to actually know PHP? I was to say, I want to build this project just with raw PHP. Would I know how to do it? Currently, probably not, but this is helping with that itch. And it's just helping me learn more about the functionality and components that PHP has all together. It's helping me fall in love with PHP a little bit more, actually. I used to not like the syntax as much, and now it's it's growing on me, that's for sure. Maybe you're like me and you've run into a couple of different projects like Dumbo or Hono, or I'm gonna take a look officially on video for Phoenix and Elixir and even Python maybe. I love learning things like this so that one, it helps me appreciate like how I just have a, accumulated skills over time to build the things that I know how to build within a framework like Laravel. But then two, it helps me also just learn more. It helps me learn how to build specific things that I wouldn't have thought of. It helps me take those ideas and put it into how I'm building a project in. So whether it's any of these things, check out Dumbo, but keep building, keep creating.